The queen of controversies is back in the news yet again. Bollywood superstar Kangana Ranaut and the newly elected MP from Mandi, Himachal Pradesh was allegedly slapped by a CISF constable at the airport. This incident happened when Ms. Ranaut was in the security check area of the airport. The CISF constable who allegedly slapped her has been identified as Kulvinder Kaur. The CISF constable's brother is a farmer and Ms. Kaur said that she was really upset with Ms. Ranaut over her comments in December 2020 that people were willing to join the protest for 100 rupees. This statement by Kangana Ranaut was actually the provocation that let the constable take the extreme step. The CISF constable who allegedly slapped the Mandi MP and actor at this Chandigarh airport for disrespecting farmers has now been suspended. A police case has also been filed against her. And Ms. Ranaut was on way to board a flight to Delhi after she was elected from the Himachal Pradesh constituency in the Lok Sabha elections when the incident occurred. Now, it was during the height of the farmers' nationwide agitation that Kangana Ranaut had remarked in a social media post that an elderly woman at a protest site was being paid 100 rupees to sit there. But after facing widespread backlash, the actor had to delete the post. The actor also faced online backlash in February 2021 after she responded to a post by singer Rihanna on the farmer's protest saying, why aren't we talking about this, the pop icon had said while sharing a video of the farmer's protest. That's when Miss Kangana Ranaut hit out at the post by labelling the protesters as terrorists. In fact, she said, and I quote, No one is talking about it because they are not farmers. They are terrorists who are trying to divide India so that China can take over our vulnerable broken nation and make it a Chinese economy and colony much like the USA. Sit down, you fool. We are not selling our nation like you dummies. However, Kangana Ranaut later had to delete that post. Well, Kangana Ranaut is no stranger to controversies. She's been in the eye of the storm for her blunt statements and very controversial remarks. Her infamous verbal feud with filmmaker Karan Johar also triggered a massive storm. The conflict between Kangana and Karan Johar gained steam when the actor made an appearance on Karan Johar's talk show and referred to the host as being, quote-unquote, the flag bearer of nepotism. Those remarks sparked an outrage and a huge debate in Bollywood. However, even her personal relationships have been volatile and stormy. Her relationship with Hrithik Roshan was perhaps the ugliest. Bollywood superstar Hrithik Roshan even slapped a legal case against Kangana Ranaut after she called him a silly ex. Kangana Ranaut claims that the two had an affair while they were working for the film Krish 3, which Roshan later denied. Several leaked emails from both sides followed and they both gave multiple interviews to prove their point of the story to various media channels. And while that blame game was going on, actor Shekhar Suman's son, Adhyan, jumped into the storm with his own story of their relationship. And among the many bizarre allegations that he had made, Adhyan accused Kangana of doing black magic on him and being physically violent. Though many accused Adhyan Suman of being a jilted lover. Kangana found herself in the news for her comments on the freedom of India in 1947. Her remarks led to a massive uproar. It was during a new summit in 2021 when she said, and I quote, that the freedom we got in 1947 was a beak or arms. In fact, the citizens of India got the real freedom only in 2014. Kangana Ranaut was obviously making a reference to the Prime Minister's elections and his tenure, and that was very evident. But later, she was criticised for dismissing the efforts of several freedom fighters. That same year, an FIR was filed against Kangana for allegedly spreading hate propaganda and inciting communal violence in the state of West Bengal. She was accused of spreading hate and the complaint stated that the actor had maligned the image of the West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. The police even filed a case against Kangana after she took a direct dig at Mamta Banerjee while responding to the post-poll violence in the state. Her remarks led to the suspension of her ex-account, which was then called Twitter, for provoking anger and violence. The account was restored only two years later. In 2020, Kangana then triggered yet another controversy. The actor faced severe backlash on a legal notice after she stated that Mumbai police haunts her more than the mafias of Bollywood. She then compared Mumbai to Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. Now, this led to massive political turbulence in the state and also the involvement of the then Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre. 
Kangana's statement was to counter Shiv Sena leader Sanjay Raut. The Rajya Sabha MP even slammed Kangana Ranaut for her adverse comments about Mumbai police. In yet another controversy in 2020, Kangana had called actress turned politician Urmila Matondkar quote unquote a soft porn star. Kangana made the statement against Urmila who was then a Congress leader during a TV interview. Visibly miffed over being questioned regarding her political aspirations, Kangana responded saying that if Urmila, who according to her was only known for her soft porn films, could get an election ticket, then why couldn't she? More recently, the actor found herself in the middle of a major row when a controversial post by Congress leader Supriya Srinath on actress Kangana Ranaut's electoral debut sparked a huge controversy. The National Commission for Women demanded action against the Congress leader and she later had to tender an apology as well. Well in recent years the actor has created headlines with a controversial remarks on social media as well as in interviews. Let's see what unfolds in her new role as a parliamentarian while she discusses pressing matters and represents the views and aspirations of the people of her constituency in the Parliament of India.